This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Not too long ago, a game came out that I was pretty excited about. And I got excited about it because it was an IP and, and I really liked this series back from the early 90s. And what game was that? Well, that was Doom. So, how does the board game compare to the video game? And as you know, IPs are usually kind of shaky, but let's ha check out and see how this one does. So I'm not going to explain every rule to you, as always, but I'm going to keep this kind of simple and just so you have a brief idea how this is. First of all, let me tell you this much. What really shocked me is how beautiful these miniatures are. And they painted up really well and I had a lot of fun with them. You can see that on my channel on me painting Doom. I painted, painted it live and I also did some tutorials on it. And as you can see, they really did a nice job with some of these, these creatures. And yes, I have to finish the bases, but hey, take a look at the, that Kako Demon. That thing's pretty nasty. And they were a lot of fun to paint. Very easy, very good detail for a, um, a fantasy flight game. And we really enjoyed doing that. And here's some imps just to show you a couple more things. And, of course, a possessed soldier. Because you must have a possessed soldier. Because, after all, you're fighting the demon world. And let's not forget our little pinkies here. Which always look pretty good in there. So very quickly just to kind of give you a rundown now the way this is this is a game where you build your deck okay and what you're doing is you're trying to get more weapons so you get more cards in your deck the more cards you get in your deck the more the more you can more damage you can do the different things that you can do and it kind of is like a deck builder in a lot of ways now, for the demons, what happens is, is they basically just get their, they get their six cards at the beginning of their turn, okay? And a lot of times, here is a spawning point, that's what we'll call it, and as you can see, our guy it always comes in at the spawning point. Here is their spawn, where, where, they, where their demons come from. Now, because this is a blue, you would use either one of these things. So the minute that this soldier comes into sight, and seize this, they would spawn. And in this uh, instance, let's just say for heck's sake, that uh, of course you get a, you gotta have a possessed soldier, like we said. And there's actually two of them come out. So we picked that option. You're allowed to pick either option from either side. Now, the way the game works is once these guys are all out, an initiative table goes. So you would flip over and of course, Alpha would get to go first, so he would do all his actions. Now, the Marines would get a number of cards in their hands, and what would happen is they would have to pick from a, a number of things, a, a number of cards. This little symbol here means a main action. You're allowed to do one main action, and you could do anything that's on that card. Now, as you can see, it says speed, so he would be able to move four. You can only move the four, and then shoot. You can't shoot and then uh, move or or excuse me you can't move two shoot and then move your last two you have to perform each at each um, ability to its fullest at that particular time now you can also take what is called bonus actions and if you have these in your card no matter how many you have you can use and do as many bonus actions as you can and after you do all that, it's the end of your turn, and then you would draw up to your hand size, which is usually the hand size of, of three. But there are special cards in the game that can increase your, your hand up to four or five cards, depending on, of course, how many players you're playing and so forth and so on. Once you decide to shoot, what will happen is there is a number here, and you would count out the range. So say our, our little friend was here, he has a range of four. You would count out the spaces, and you can count diagonally as well. And as you can see, is within four. It gives you the color of dice to roll. You would roll those dice, and this is how many hits he would have performed on this particular guy. He has hit him for four. But what happens is, is how you perform defense is the top card of your deck 
has a number on it. Now this one does not, so he would take all four damage. That might be enough to kill him. So, on some other cards, well, of course we haven't popped out any, some have a shield, so that would re reduce the damage by one. Some have multiple shields. Another one has that uh, uh, a symbol that actually cancels out the entire the entire uh, attack. You would apply you would apply that to the um, enemy, and then uh, if it, they beat their number, like per, uh, for this guy here, he has a health of eighteen. But that's our big cyber demon, and our caco demon, which we had over here, our caco demon. Let's just say that he was here taking the hit. He has a health of six. But if you were able to do four to him, he would be stunned. And when he's stunned, you can actually run him over and he would die instantly. And what would happen is you would get a an ability, um, you would get a run through. And what that gives you is a special card which will give you different types of weapons and stuff like that. There's terrain here that does blocking and such. There's impassable walls. So you have to make sure that you're in line of sight, of course. So once, once he's taken his turn all the way through and we resolved any kind of damage, we would then move this card down and then we would flip over to the next initiative card. If there was another hero, he would go. But of course, if we flipped over the invaders, you would pick one group of invaders and you move all those group of invaders. So if you had a bunch of guys here like this, you can pick, okay, well, I either want to use him or I want to use both the um, uh, possessed soldiers. And then they would take their entire turn and unload upon our dear friend, and they would use any kind of special cards that they have. Now, they have some really nasty things, but these guys are pretty tough. So all in all, it's a deck building game. As as they start to find different things, they can build. Um, they can build their decks. And at the beginning of the the game, the demons build their deck. They decide what kind of cards that they want to use for whatever particular mission it is. And they build their deck deck, and that's all they get is those particular cards. But they can build some pretty nasty decks, especially once they know what type of uh, card that they have that they can spawn from with their spawn tokens. So uh, the teleporter here, um, if there's more than one on a field, you can walk over and then, of course, go over to, say there was one right there, you can teleport over onto that side, just as an additional little rule just to know. So there's a, It comes with a bunch of different missions, uh, which are really, really pretty good, and I found that this was a lot of fun. But let's get my final thoughts up top and call it now, a day. I really like this. I had a lot of fun painting it. There wasn't anything to put together except for this big guy here, which, um, which, which went together pretty quickly. The only thing that I found that I didn't like about this is I wish there was a little bit more depth as far as the campaign goes. It's kind of, there's six missions. Uh, if whoever wins three, or, I mean, whoever wins the, the most out of them, uh, is declared the winner. There isn't a progression in the story or anything like that. I would like a little more depth. Um, you know, it's a dungeon crawl kind of, you know, a sci-fi dungeon crawl, and I love those. And I just wish there was a little bit more. You gave us just a little bit more. Maybe they do that if they come out with an expansion for it. I can tell you this much. The models are gorgeous on it. Uh, I, I was very, I had a great time painting them. There was hardly anything to put together. You only had to put together the, the big demon there. And I really enjoyed getting this together, playing it. I had a good time. It was easy to learn. I liked the deck building aspect of it. It's a good, solid game. And I used to like the old version, to be honest with you. I thought that was a lot of fun. Remember, this was the predecessor that kind of started everything up. It gave us Descent and Imperial Assault. You know, without Doom, we didn't have any of that. So for them to come out and, and redo this and, and really give a, a different time of twist on it, I thought was really, really cool. So I'm going to give this a three and a half out of four. Like I said, I really like it. I think I really wished that there was a little more depth in the missions and I felt a little more immersed in it. 
right now it's just taking my my guys blowing everything up and trying to win that particular mission and going on to the next one and i hope they they develop this where they give us some more missions that would be really really cool well that's it for review corner until next time i'm rob warren and we will see you soon sponsored by miniature markets review corner the review corner features podcasts videos and written reviews by gamers for gamers miniature market online gaming superstore thousands of games and minis discount prices check them out at miniaturemarket.com